With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Today our question is, we are given the three statements. We have to check the validity of the following statement. So let's start one by one. The first statement is that is our statement. Let us write the statement first of all. Our statement that is, sky is blue. Sky is blue and water is colorless. Water is colorless. So if I have to check the validity of this statement, this statement is a compound statement in which there are two components. So let us write the component of the statement that is P. Sky is blue and the another component, let us say it is Q statement that is water is colorless, right? So to check the validity of the statement R, first of all I need to check the whether the statement P and Q, both, uh, both of which are true or both of which are false. So let us check, sky is blue, yes this statement is true and the second statement that is water is colorless, this statement is also true because this compound statement is connected by using and so the whole statement compound statement sky is blue and water is colorless will also be true so our statement is valid similarly let's check out for the second part the second part in the statement is 102 is a multiple of 2 and 51 102 is a multiple of 2 and 51 so uh, there is also this statement is s right this statement is also a compound statement in which we are having two components. The first component that is the statement P that is 102 is a multiple of 2. 102 is a multiple of 2 and the another statement that is the uh, component statement that is 102 is a multiple of 51. 102 is a multiple of multiple of 51. So let us check the validity of these P and Q statements. So here we have given that in the first statement P, that is 102 is a multiple of 2. So as we divide 102 with 2, we, we are getting the remainder as 0. So therefore it is a multiple of 2. This statement is true. Similarly, 102 is a multiple of 51. As we divide 102 with 51, I am getting the remainder as 0. So this statement is also true. So as we can, we can see the compound statement S which is combined by using P and Q, the AND with AND connective. So therefore the whole statement will also be true. So therefore the S statement is also valid. So let's move to the third statement that is T statement. It is 2 is even and composite number. 2 is even and composite number. So let us find the component statements. The component statements are P and Q. First statement P is 2 is an even number. 2 is an even number. And the second statement, component statement is 2 is a composite number. 2 is a composite number. What is even number? That is divisible by 2. So 2 is an even number. Yes, this statement is true. Uh, 2 is a composite. Composite numbers are those which are having smaller multiples like more than one multiples like so 2 is not a composite number so this statement is false as we can see that the compound statement which is uh, formed by using and connective in which one statement is true and an another statement is false so this overall statement that is the compound statement is what that is false so this statement is not valid thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today